Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Uzbek Strong campaign in European Universals 4. So, these guys are still all allied to each other, and what I'm realizing is that um, I should probably spend the extra one year of truce time to annul treaties so that um, so that I can pick them off a little bit easier. Because there's, there's still this dense alliance network between all these former Ming states, uh, which is rather annoying. We have no truce with Shu or Liang. However, um, they're allied to each other, so it's going to cause problems. Oh, you're trying to pick off my troops, aren't you? Maybe. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, dude. I have tech 20. I, I have space marines. Space freaking marines. They're from space. I just, for the record, I mean... Military tech 20. I'm the only one in the entire world who has military tech 20. I am amazing. I am horde. Hear me. I don't think I'm ever going to give up. I'm always going to be 20 years ahead of time now. We are space, space Uzbek. And it's glorious. We're at 91% religious unity. I'm expanding too fast. We can't convert. Fast enough. We can try for religious ideas. And we have more, uh... Ooh. The jazz. More manpower than we know what to do with. Uh, okay, fine. Let's attack jazz. That's your capital. We'll march on that. I did send the army from down here up, yes? That must be that army. Which means that the other army is probably already down there. Okay, one army for Hejaz is good enough. We siege down their capital. It should be good. Is our air any good? One, two, five. You know, I don't care about the monarch points. I just want more generals, so... And he turns out to be a pretty good one. Yeah, your 40k troops? 46k. I, I bet he still loses. I mean, we'll try to reinforce, but even still, I think I think our troops would probably win. We have 2.4 tactics, about the same amount of morale. We also have a lot more pips. I guess it will come down to rolls, you know. We're so narrow. If we keep rolling zeros, we will lose. Come on, can you make it 8 more days? You... We lost a fight. What? Where? Oh, was it a naval battle? Come on, make it a couple more days. Two more days. One more day. Got it. We start spreading out on Hejaz. We get our conversions going. We win some more battles. Separate piece... Oh, it was this fight down here. That's what we lost. We have another 20 stacked up up there now. Let's combine them together, make it into a 30. Take the admin points, because money means nothing. How are we doing on money? Too much money. More troops. Just cavalry and artillery. Space. <laughs> Space horses. <laughs> Space horses, strong. It's, it, what it is actually is... is okay, so here, here's how it works. In our country, we have horse-mounted cannons. That's what they are. Every horse has a cannon on the left side and on the right side. And what happens is there's, like, you know, one dude on his horse, and as he's driving, he just shoots the cannons at people. It's a drive-by cannoning, really, is what it is. It's terrifying. Uh, you, you don't want to be... Um, Exposed to that, it would it would devastate you if you were to be drive-by cannoned. Uh, what else can we do? We could attack Shu. We could attack Japan. We should go over here and attack these guys. 
We don't need them to participate in our war to give the land to them because of the Grant Province feature, so let's go ahead and on these two vassals, let's enable Scootage on both. So that in future wars they're not participating and their little pesky armies aren't annoying. Uh, we're doing that siege, that's good. We're going to do that siege, that's good. We've won a fort. Let's go for your capital so we can piece you out and all your alliances. Our troops with John Pur is up. Don't have that much war score with you. We need to actually win the siege of your capital. And we're going to go for 100 war score from Orissa in land. Yeah, it's 99 war score from you. While you have an army, you won't peace out. Understandably so. Okay, that's a jazz. We piece him out. Uh, we take his money. Oh. Forgot a very important step, didn't I? And that actually also connected our distant overseas land. And allows us to finish our idea group. Which enables us to enable a policy. Um, I might just enable this all the time. So that I don't forget about it, but it's probably a bad idea. Alright, so integration costs. We need to improve relations with our vassals. can integrate you in 47 and in 44. So in four years we need to feed a whole bunch of Yan and then you of course are gonna get fed a ton soon. We need to finish these cores preferably before this war ends. Hey custodian of the holy cities. Sweet. All right uh, let's give some land to our estates. All this land should now no longer be distant overseas. The autonomy can come down, which is nice. Um, come on now, let me let me grant the. Oh, is that distant overseas? No, it's not. So we can grant it to you. Good. Loyalty seems fine, and we are coring. Okay, cool. Alright, who wants to peace out? Nepal, you want out? Really, I'm just going to know their treaties with everyone. As long as the war score for the separate piece is less than 50%, I'll have a 15-year truce with the war leader, a 10-year annul treaties with the target, so as long as it's less than 50%, then the war the truce will be less than 10 years, which means that I can attack them before the annul treaties wears out, and hopefully attack them dire just directly without any uh, anybody to defend them. And that's what we really want against everyone. Hey, look, it's our space horses. All right, so Nepal, uh, we want to annul your treaties with all of them. Let's go march on your capital. Mewar, I need some more diplomats, don't I? Let's come home from France. Maybe we do want to enable that policy. Extra diplomat and envoy travel time. Could be useful. I'm not sure if we need it. Okay, um... Should come down here and kind of create a choke point. We can tech up again. And so we shall.
No one else wants out of the war just yet. So, Carnatic, I don't really care about you. Gwalior, I'm not going to spend any effort annulling your treaties. Oh, well, you're a march underneath Mewar. Okay, that's fine. So just take your capital. Um, this army comes through here and kills that. Income is still positive, which is all that matters. Space horses doing a pretty good job. Again, you're not going to peace out probably until I take your capital. Might as well spread out and do a little bit of looting or something. I mean, why not, right? Take it. Damn. <laughs> oh, the core is almost done. I hope they are. It's going to be a little while, apparently. You're awfully small for an army. I think we should shuffle balance those two. Otherwise they're gonna that, that army could could potentially lose a, a battle. And we don't want that, that's just pathetic. No no battles are allowed to be lost. Now with that third missionary, we might actually be able to catch up on this religious unity deal. You know, keep in mind we're not at ninety two, we're actually at sixty seven. It's only because we have humanist ideas that it's showing what it is. Come on, 91%? Are you serious? Alright, Ming. We do not border them yet. Look at all those cores that Ming has. <laughs> That's what we should do, we should just vassalize the remainder of Ming. Hey, well, this is what I want, so if you're not willing to do it, then that's exactly what I was worried about. Is that army getting picked off? Come on, Abdul. Do your damnedest. Space horses. Damn. Space horses are not good enough. Wow, that was fast. Well, clearly there's a sizable army there with some cannons. I like good fights. I like easy fights. This is, this is nice. We're very, very strong. Stronger than we really have any right to be. But I've talked to Wiz, and Wiz says that uh, he's not, not going to nerf hordes. Not for a while. He's going to allow them to be overpowered for a while. Because it's fun. Probably won't be till the next patch that they actually get nerfed. If at all. Okay, Miwar wants out now. Uh, yeah, I know your treaty, and that's it. Do not get stuck there again. So with Orissa, then, we now take everything we can, and we're going to probably need to core this all ourselves. Um, so we got to watch the overextension number. Let's see how much we can actually get. It's 120% overextension, only 86 piece score. That's 100. 31 aggressive expansion, 138% overextension. Granted, we're going to raise a lot of it. Um, let's make sure we have all these provinces occupied.
Oh wow, the course just finished. Wonderful. So we get them all occupied simply because that way it's a little bit easier. I think it's less horse score too. Min. Our leader. Deal with the peasants. Never mind, they're gonna book it out of here for me. France is going after Genoa. Yeah, it is a tiny bit less war score when you have them occupied. Probably one more major battle with them there, and we'll be able to call it good. Pork bottle stoppers. Some pretty damn glorious armies, aren't they? This nation is too strong. What on earth are we gonna do? I'm gonna have to just, like, just really relax in this campaign. It's just too strong. He's still not willing to say yes, though. Interesting how even though this is occupied by peasants, I can still select it. That's unusual. It didn't used to be that way. Well, maybe if we take one more fort, This should secure our power projection for many, many years. And uh, the alliance chains are rather weak, so Nepal and, Mi Mi and Miwar can be attacked soon. Jumper we could attack right now, but... Do you have anybody down there bordering Kilwa? I think I took them away, didn't I? And we used them on Hejaz. Fortunately, Kilwa has no friends. 91 war score? Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, yeah. Let's just hope that we raise enough. Okay. Over extension is 102.4. Damn it! If it wasn't for this one. Can we can we make it till November? Maybe we can just wait. Or we could try to create a vassal. We're at peace right now. Uh, let's get the alliance with France. Get our mission satisfied. Remove okay, let's try to get the extra diplomatic reputation from that. That'll happen eventually. Okay, who can we create? We can create Assam. Manipur. Let's create Bengal. That does cause us to lose our border um, with Orissa, but it doesn't matter. We have 97, <laughs> 97 from from that, and that takes us, takes us down below the number that matters. And the rest... Well, let's see, okay, so we pay a default, it's 8 Diplo. Um, with our policies, we can take it cost down to 55% of 8, so that'd be 4.4 Diplo per province. Or we can pay a base of 10 admin, and also I gotta factor in... Uh, let's just not factor in administrative efficiency, because it affects diplomatic annexation as well. So 50% of 10. So it's actually cheaper again for us to do diplomatic annexation. So we just do both, really. If anything, we're ahead of time on admin, so we'll just core the rest of this. Yeah, of course they're no longer a valid rival. You shouldn't have let me rival them in the first place.
Okay, uh, we'll grant some land to the tribes. Let's take them up to like 40%. As long as their influence doesn't get too high, it doesn't even matter. Sixty-nine percent. I don't want to go any higher than that because if they get a random event that gives them ten influence, then they'd be above eighty. So we'll stay at like sixty-nine, which causes us to be able to attack and expand for quite a while without having to do that again. Okay, um, Langjiang, we attack Langjiang. Uh, who calls in everyone? Um, or we could just attack you. Separate peace, Langjong, and annul all other treaties. Sounds good. I'm having a great time. I love I love playing when the game is like this, but at the same time, it's like, man, the game is broken. The game is very very broken. This is this is like CK2 style world conquest right now, like where it's just you're just so so ungodly strong that it feels wrong. Right, I want to shuffle the largest. I want to balance all these out actually. Get them closer to equal. Maybe we just do let's just do four armies. So, how about the Ottomans? Ottomans are still on tech 18 to my tech 20. Yeah, let's go position ourselves in the Ottoman War. Could be fun. By the way, kill what you need to die. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. See you bet.